In 1981 came the prize he most wanted, the England captaincy. How did he feel when, after leading the England tour of India and Sri Lanka, it was taken from him? I was, I was very disappointed. Obviously, I thoroughly enjoyed captaining the side through India. It's the different conditions over in India. Obviously, there's lots of things against an England side or any tour inside going over to India. I'd have liked to have had a crack at them in England. We had a three test match series there. I'd like to have had a go at them then. Uh, then, all right, things didn't work out then, then do as they won. Why do you think you actually were stripped of the captaincy so soon? I don't know. Nobody's ever told me why I was, so I, I honestly, I don't know at all. From reading the book, it seems that you're still really rather bitter uh, about the way the selectors handled all that. Yes, I was bitter the way it was handled. I do think uh, that somebody could have said something to me before. I've only, I've only been spoken to on the phone by one selector about it, and that was just to tell me I haven't got the job. None of them's ever said anything to me since. So I just think it was badly handled. Another thing you talk about is loyalty in your book. Do you feel that you gave loyalty to England and they didn't really give it back to you? Well, yes, I suppose you can say yes. Obviously, I was asked to go to, to SA and as England captain, I didn't think it was a good thing to go over there. And obviously, I was loyal to England. Now, I think you were offered, what, £45,000 for four weeks in South Africa. You didn't decide to take that deal. Do you regret that you didn't? Ah, uh, oh, it's difficult to say, you know, if it was offered to me now, then obviously it's a different position. I was then England captain and I thought it was the, the thing to do is to stop as England captain. Well, this weekend, of course, you're facing Middlesex in the final of the Benson and Hedges Cup. What do you think are your chances? I would say that obviously these sort of matches is 50-50. They're a good side, a very good side. Obviously they're going to miss Roland Butcher, the same as we're going to miss John Lever. I don't think there's any chance John will play. So. All right, we've both got an injury apiece. I still think we're the best two sides in England. So it should be a good game. It must give you enormous satisfaction because Essex used to be rather an obscure county side. Now they always seem to be at the top of all the tables. Uh, that must give you pleasure as captain. It gives me a tremendous pleasure. Obviously, we've got a lot of good players and now we've got enough, another batch of young good players coming in. You know, the likes of Foster and Pringles, two good bowlers, both in their early 20s. So yes, I thoroughly enjoy it. Now you've had a very good innings, if that's the right expression in cricket. How much longer do you think you'll actually be playing for Essex? Well, I don't, obviously I don't know, it depends how fit I keep, but I wouldn't say not all that much longer, I wouldn't have thought. And what about then, what happens then? Do you stay in cricket? I'd like to stay in cricket, I'd stay in cricket with Essex, I don't think I'd stop in cricket with other people, mainly because I've grown to love Essex, if you like. I've, if there's a job in Essex, then obviously we'll see what it is. But I'd like to stop in cricket in some way, I'd stop on the committee if possible. And you're still enjoying your cricket? Oh yes, yeah, still enjoying it. You never it. get stale? <laughs> I get tired, especially after Sunday leagues. Tomorrow, Keith Fletcher leads Essex into their third Benson and Hedges final in five years. Latest odds from the bookies make Middlesex the six to four favourites. And uh, Keith Fletcher's autobiography, A Captain's Innings, is published by Stanley Paul, price £6.95. And we've just heard that Essex's John Lever has made a surprisingly quick recovery from a minor operation last weekend. He now has a good chance of playing in tomorrow's final if he passes a late fitness test. Right, let's catch up on... Uh, some